There is a new way to treat tumors here in West Michigan, and doctors are excited about what this means for overall cancer care. 13 On Your Side health reporter Elena Holland tells us how it works and spoke to the first patient only 24 hours after his treatment. It's the wave of the future. Greg Alushiski is the first patient in West Michigan to receive an exciting new treatment for liver cancer. Which was a, a sparkle in our life. We spoke to him less than 24 hours after ultrasound waves liquefied his tumor. Oh, I feel great. Yeah, I feel great. It's a treatment called histotripsy. University of Michigan Health West is the first hospital in West Michigan to offer it. Quite honestly, we haven't had that kind of new disruptive technology in the cancer field for a while. So yeah, it's fun to be able to witness that. That's Dr. Clifford Cho, the chief medical officer at U of M Health West. He brought the procedure to this side of the state, leading the histotripsy program for the cancer network of West Michigan. It's different in the sense that it's completely non-invasive, so you don't physically have to insert anything into the body to make this work because it uses sound waves. The sound waves target the liver cancer tissue, destroying it and liquefying the tumor. It can be used in conjunction with other cancer treatments because it is non-invasive. So it remains possible that histotripsy could even make some of the other therapies work a little bit better. And if that's the case, that opens up a lot of other sort of options for how to integrate histotripsy with, uh, with cancer treatment. This is a relatively new technology, which doctors are still learning from clinical use. But for Greg, I've got my life back. This means everything. I have no surgery, had no chemo, no radiation anymore. We can uh, watch our grandkids growing up. Elena Holland, 13 on your side. Right now, histotripsy is only FDA certified to treat liver cancer. But Dr. Cho says that's just because it's what they did for the clinical trial. He has high hopes it will not be long before it's approved for other cancer uses.